Good morning, this is Matthew Bono, music instructor, and I'll be showing an introductory piano lesson uh, for those first learning to play piano. Uh, it will involve a couple pages that identify finger, uh, identify hands, left hand, and right hand, also finger numbers. <clears throat> we'll first start with the hand. Um, the left hand, if you if you stick it out, you should be able to make with your point finger and thumb the letter L, remnant, uh, re <clears throat> as resembled in the English alphabet, and that would be your left hand, and your right hand would be to the other side. As far as on a page, they'll identify left hand by the letter L, and the right hand by the letter R. So if it's L, it's left hand. If it's R, it's right hand. The finger numbers that they give, since they are five fingers on each hand, uh, apply to both hands. So in other words, if it's finger one, one would be thumbs on both hands. Two would be point fingers. Three would be middle fingers. Four would be ring, or some may call index. Five would be pinkies. So when we read a beginning exercise, where they're just asking for finger numbers, where you place your hand is not particularly important. Now to get, since, since um, we have more white keys than black keys, we'll use white keys for this example. And I'm gonna pick on a note that's to the left of the two black keys that's referred to in beginning pianos, middle C. And that first set of numbers is gonna read one, two, three, four. So on the left hand, it would go like this, one, two, three, four. I'll play it again and read it. One, two, three, four. And it'd be a good idea to read it while you play it, just to uh, get it in your memory. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna take those same fingers, starting at the same key, which is called middle C, to the left of two black keys. I'll apply it to the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next set of what they call flashcards on the page will be using the four fingers again in a different order. It'll be going four, three, two, one. Go. All right. So, on that second set of flashcards, that second row, we'll, and again for identification, we'll place our thumb on middle C to the left of two black keys. And the order that was on the page was four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. We'll replace the left thumb with the right thumb and recite those same numbers, knowing, uh, starting this time with finger four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. On the third row of what they, they identify as flashcards, we'll be using just two numbers, one and five, one, five. Likewise with the right hand, one, five, one, five. Ones and fives, as uh, mentioned in a longer description, ones are thumbs, fives are pinkies. Now, play, when, play, when setting up your hand for one and five, and again, we'll use middle C as the example, middle C being to the left of two black keys. That will be our finger one. We allow the other fingers line up one finger per white key, and, we'll line, and that will help the pinky find its destination for finger five. So we get a good even spread. Now, if you wish, you can lift the three middle fingers off, two, three, and four, and you could go one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five. 
And by the way, finger five will be located to the left of the three black keys. Is if if you want to check if your fingers are lined up, one finger for each white key. With the right hand, again starting with the thumb on middle C. Finger five. If you lay, lay one finger on each on each white key, two, three, four, and five, would place your pinky in between the left and middle black key. And now you can go back and forth as like this: one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five. I'll do it a few more: one, five, one, five, one. Five, one, five. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to one more page. This time we're going to be focusing on the use of black keys in this page. The use of black keys uh, sh shown on this page will be in the form of a picture. And in this picture that my pencil is tracing around, they'll assign two black keys for the left hand. That'll be fingers two and three. And they'll be assigning three black keys for the right hand. Two, three, and four. Now, to match that image on the piano, we would look for, we would use the left hand, look for a set of two black keys. It could be any set of two, by the way. Okay. And, that, and to the right of that, we would have the three fingers for the right hand. And that will be our place where we set up. So two black keys for the left hand, three for the right. Now, to further help uh, assist us in using the right hand to match the music that's on the page, they'll have the right hand notes with the stems pointing up at this time, and the left hand will have the sticks pointing down. One additional thing uh, that's mentioned is the notes at this time that are colored in will only get one count, so we play the note and move right on to the next with no pausing. If the note has a white uh, stripe in it with the stick, it's identified as a half note. And these will get two counts each. And you'll hear me count one, two. There's even an occasion where there's a note with a white stripe um, with no stick. That's identified as a whole note. And that will be held out much longer. That'll be for four counts. So, I'll get the hand set up. Two fingers, fingers two and three on the left hand. Fingers 2, 3, and 4 on the right hand. And now we're going to play the song that's titled, All the Stars Are Shining. It'll start with the right hand, and it'll go with these numbers. 4, 3, 2. Left hand, 2, 3. And then we play again. 1. Back to the right hand. 4, 3, 2. Left hand, 2, 3. And then we're going to look back to the beginning and play the whole song. 4, 3, Two left hand, two, three, three again. Right hand finger four, four, three, two, two, three. I'll play that one more time before we finish up here. So once again, I'll show. I'll just present it a different way. Right hand's going to play first, and it lines up on three black keys. Left hand plays next, and lines up on two black keys. And it's, and it's recommended, just so you can see easily, that we have the hands close to each other. Right hand will go first, using finger number four, three, two. Left hand, two, then three. We'll play three again. Back to the right hand. Four, three, two. Left hand, two, three. And then we go back to the beginning with the right hand. Four, three, two. Left hand, two, three, three again. Back to the right hand. Four, three, two. Left hand, two, then three. And that will be an example of how to play the song called All the Stars Are Shining. Thank you very much.